This video is part two of the project to create an Etch-a-Sketch game in Scratch. By the end of this exercise, you will be able to move the sprite around the stage using the up and down and left and right arrow keys. In the previous video, I dragged a block from the control section called When Space Key Pressed. If I press the space bar now, Nothing happens. That's because we haven't given the project any instructions to handle that event. Look what happens when I attach change x by 10 to when space key pressed. Now when I press the spacebar, the sprite moves. In other words, we have handled the spacebar press event. You can see that the script runs because in Scratch, running scripts have a white border. What we actually want is to move the sprite to the right when the right arrow key is pressed. To do this, we click on this little triangle, and that opens up a list of the keys we can work with. As well as the spacebar, we can handle the arrow keys, and all of the alphabetic and numeric keys. Choose the right arrow and now when the right arrow key is pressed the sprite moves to the right. By the way, if I press the spacebar now nothing happens because our project no longer handles that event. Now let's move the sprite to the left when the left arrow key is pressed. What we need is a left arrow event handler. So we drag a new key pressed event handler to the script area. Select left arrow from the options. And attach a change x by block from the motion blocks. And set its value to minus 10. Now when I press the left arrow, the sprite moves to the left. You can guess what's coming next. We want to move the sprite up and down when we press the up and down arrow keys. We need two more event handlers. One for the up arrow and one for the down arrow. Here's the up arrow event handler and here's the down arrow event handler. To move the sprite up we need a block that says change y by 10. Let's attach that to the up arrow handler. And to move the sprite down we need a change y by minus 10. So let's add one to the handler and set its value to minus 10. Now that all four event handlers are in place, we can check that the sprite moves as we want it to when I press the arrow keys. To the left, to the right, up and down. 